I think setting foot on Antarctica is just one of those uh, life-changing moments. I've been expeditioning for uh, many decades, and that includes 13 trips to Antarctica and five to the high Arctic. And the thing that strikes you about them is, is their fragility, their beauty, and the need to protect them. Back in the late 90s, when I reached the South Pole uh, on foot and arrived there, never for a moment really imagining that I'd be capable until the last steps I took that I'd be able to do that journey, it suddenly opened a whole world of possibilities, thinking, well, if I can achieve this, what else can I apply this to? And suddenly a whole world of, of possibility opened up. And that's given rise to me using my expeditions to remote places as a means to try and affect positive change along with the environmental science background that I have. I think raising awareness of climate change is critical because it is the existential threat that humanity faces, indeed the planet faces. We here in Australia have the highest rate of native species loss in the developed world, so very evidently we have to arrest that. We are the ones who are causing it and we are the only ones who can fix it, so it's critical that we bring this to people's attention. Humanity's footprint comes in the form of seeing things like plastic in even the remotest parts of the ocean. Understanding the ocean is more acidic now than, uh, than at any time in the last perhaps million years. We have the highest levels of carbon dioxide we've had in the atmosphere for about a million years. It's about seeing the melting ice in the glaciers of places like the Antarctic and indeed the equatorial region where 25 mountains still have glaciers. And I've been using uh, images of their melting to try and communicate the urgency with which we need to deal with an issue like the climate. Well, the challenges of climate change and, and humans' impact on nature are, of course, huge. And in fact, for many people, they're too big to comprehend, me included sometimes. But the key thing is really breaking down the enormity of those into smaller pieces. You don't necessarily have to think in terms of the whole issue, just break it down into small pieces and deal with what you can. Hope, I think, is something that you carry deep within you. I'm fundamentally a, an optimistic person, but I also use techniques I've learned from many years of expeditions. You know, you control what you can. You don't allow the enormity of the challenge ahead of you to, to put you off. And we need to apply that same thinking to the way we deal with an issue like biodiversity loss or climate change or any major issue we're trying to deal with. We need to save the planet and it starts with each and every one of us making a difference.